The 90-year-old fell ill last Friday and has been kept in hospital until he makes a full recovery. Sir Ken Dodd is being cared for in hospital as he recovers from a severe chest infection. The comedy legend, 90, fell ill last Friday and was taken to hospital by ambulance after reportedly struggling to breath. It's thought he picked up the flu at his traditional Christmas show held at Liverpool Echo Arena late last month. A spokesman for Doddy said, he's had a chest infection and is receiving treatment for that. He's expected to make a recovery. He went in for a check on Friday because with everything that has been going around and Ken's age, it's better to be safe than sorry. They are just keeping a close watch on him and making sure all is well. His partner Anne, 76, is said to have been by the comedian's bedside since Friday. A friend told The Sun, Doddy's a fighter but flu is very serious for a 90-year-old. He was struggling last week and had trouble breathing so an ambulance was called and they've decided to keep him in until he's well enough. Last year Doddy received a knighthood from Prince William recognizing his 63 years of comedy and charity work. As well as creating the Diddy Men and coining catchphrases like what a lovely day and how tickled I am he had 14 top 40 hits as singer. Tears, No One for Eight Weeks in 1965, is the only non-Beatles hit in the 1960's Five Biggest Songs. Awarded an OBE in 1982, he has the freedom of Liverpool, is an honorary fellow of both Chester and Liverpool John Moores Universities and was the British Comedy Society's first living legend. Sir Ken has only ever cancelled three shows, one for a hernia operation in 2007 and twice due to bereavement. I've been on stage with pneumonia and a broken ankle, but you don't feel a thing. You're an entertainer. The magic takes over and you become Superman, he said last year, last year.